submerged brush over here. Can't really see it right now because the water's so high. Oh, I feel bad about getting rude with that guy, but man, I'm so pissed from last time. I mean, I wish I would have had it on video. It's It was about three years ago. He probably doesn't even recognize who I am, but my dad was with me, and we were back there, had no clue that we weren't supposed to be back there. There was no sign telling us we couldn't go back there. And he came down, and I'm telling you, he chewed us up and down one and the other. I mean... And then he wouldn't let us turn on the big motor to get out of there. We were probably a half a mile back there. We had to troll all the way out on high. Pretty much ruined our fishing day. And um, told us that we were going to damage some water quality testing equipment and all kinds of stupid stuff. I just don't like the guy. I'd heard... Um, my next door neighbor had told me that uh, a guy, I guess, one of his friends that you don't want to mess with, and he's an older man, probably in his 50s, I guess he was up there and he didn't know also. He was up there fishing, and that guy, same guy, came down there with a shotgun and told him to get the hell off the, his property. Well, the guy had his grandson with him and said, uh, basically told the guy if you're gonna pull a shotgun on me you better pl plan on pulling the trigger because I'm gonna find you later and kick your ass pulling a gun in front on me in front of my grandson and uh, I guess the guy um, you know was a, <laughs> a man of his word because uh, a couple weeks later saw him at uh, Riverton quick stop at a gas station and commenced to whooping his ass and basically told him you know because he pulled that shotgun on him and whooped his ass I don't know if the sheriff was called or anything like that but I'm sure the sheriff would have understood a good ass whooping for a guy pulling a shotgun on him so anyway but that guy he was actually nice <laughs> to me today I mean I wouldn't say nice but makes up all kinds of excuses or reason it's never never him well if that's the case this entire river is private property I mean all these houses down here they own out in the middle of the river you think they'd have a liability issue too why is it just him it's a bunch of BS and then he said something from in the courts that was from 30 years ago and he tried fighting it to let people fish it bullcrap bull crap he's just a jerk and he doesn't even fish I asked him if he fished it he said no he doesn't fish it what an asshole I should have told him that I had a video camera and that it'd be on YouTube and I'd be talking about him what a jerk but anyway back to fishing to see if we can find some clear water <clears throat> Looks like it's pretty muddy back here though. Might have to go up Shell Creek side.
Yeah, I don't see any bait fish back here. About 6.7, usually this is like really shallow back here. 6.7 feet, usually it's like 3 feet. Switch over the square bill real quick. This thing dives to 12 feet or whatever, and 12, 13 feet. No. Yeah, I don't usually use snaps in a tournament or whatever, but I do because I can change uh, lures really quick. Got a little eddy here. Let's see if there's any fish hanging out. Right uh, here. Yeah. Oh. Just hit a log. Stop this. That'll work. <laughs> Perfect. Boy, the water's really flowing through here. I don't know if you can see how fast this water's flowing through, but... This wind is just moving me around, or this current. I think there'd be a bass sitting right there. Fishing the wrong way right now. Should be fishing this way. Okay, I don't see any bait fish back here.
The water's pretty up quite a bit. I wonder if I can get back in here. Still three feet deep right here. Water's clearing up just a little bit over here. Got some shad back here. It's a good sign. Still 3.3 feet. water back here hasn't been fished in a long time because it's so shallow. So I'm wondering if fish moved back here. <laughs> 